It's a good question. Um, you know, I like to think of Mickey as being an actor himself. So you see him in the parks, he's playing, you know, the ambassador role. You see him on some of the TV shows, he's playing a different role, and he can transform no matter what the story uh, requires. Kingdom Hearts is definitely a little grittier Mickey. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's on a mission. He's still the leader and he still has all the qualities we know and love about Mickey, but he's a little bit more hardcore, I guess you could say. Um, he's the king after all. So, you know, uh, knowing that when you go into a project like Kingdom Hearts versus an episode of Mickey Mouse Funhouse, um, you just kind of put on a different hat um, as though, you know, I'm an actor playing Mickey, but then I'm an actor playing Mickey who's an actor playing King Mickey. Um, so you just kind of think about the different qualities. The Kingdom Hearts series is a lot of fun because it is a different world than we're used to playing in. Um, and much like any other video game, it requires a lot of exertion sounds, um, movements, battle scenes, and then not to mention some more, uh, I don't want to say darker, but you know, deeper performance sometimes with some of the subject matter. So it's, it's pretty fun to kind of go on that tangent of Kingdom Hearts from the more normal stuff that we're doing where Mickey's kind of always up here. And then he's like, did someone say the door to darkness? <laughs> so. It's fun. I hear people like that line. I get asked a lot to do it. <laughs>